Hey guys, Jimmy Jules 153 here, back with another Dreams Logic tutorial. Today we'll be going over the logic gates. The gates are gadgets you can use in your dreams to do basic programming operations like AND, OR, and NOT. I'll be taking you through each of these gates on the screen today with a quick demonstration on how each of them takes inputs and outputs signals. First up, we'll take a look at the OR gate. If you use a sentence, you can work out what the basic ones do. So for the OR gate, we can say if this switch, or this switch, or this one is turned on, the OR gate will output its signal, like you can see here. It doesn't matter how many of these switches we have turned on, as long as there's one or more turned on, the OR gate will output its signal. If you delete an input on an OR gate, you'll need to manually turn down the number of inputs with the slider up the top here but this is more important with an AND gate. With an AND gate, we can say if this switch and this switch are turned on, then the gate will turn on. It's more important to make sure that you turn down the number of inputs if you aren't filling them in an AND gate, because if you have nothing plugged into an input port on it, you will never be able to get a signal out of it because all of the input ports need to be turned on for it to activate, even if those ports don't have anything plugged into them. We've then got the exclusive OR gate, which will basically output a signal if one and only one of the inputs are turned on, as you can see here. Then finally we've got the NOT gate, and we can say if this switch is NOT turned on, then output a signal for this one. That's all for today guys, just a brief overview of the gates and how they work. I'll see you in the next one.